Hey YouTube, it's Michael Bell back again from Torrent Performance and uh, today I want to do a little demonstration of one of the best uh, brake bleeding tools I've ever run into. I really didn't want to do a review on this but the thing works so well and uh, really eases the process of bleeding your brakes. Um, I use this, I bought this specifically for a dual disc um, Ducati motorcycle and I ended up, I actually used this on my uh, E350 box truck and what happened on that box truck was some of the brake lines toward the back rear end exploded uh, they rusted and basically broke and I, I wasn't certain that this was going to work for it but I mean the, the brake line from the from the back end was about 16 foot long and this thing bled the air right out of it as fast as possible uh, I've always kind of had an experience with brakes where you, you want to get it done right, you know, the first time, and I'll get into the, that a little bit later, but th this is what I would usually use on my motorcycles, is uh, this is a real neat tool. This is a brake uh, bleeding tool that's real easy to use, and you just put your hose on there and onto your, your bleeder, and it's got a check ball in it, and uh, it's, it's really easy to use, but um, I stepped it up and bought one of these, so uh, yeah, we're going to get right into this. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to bleed uh, the front brakes on that KTM uh, project bike that I bought that I'm not going to put back together, but it's got a good brake system on it, so it's going to be a good, easy demonstration of it. And, uh, you know, we're basically going to run DOT3 brake fluid, um, synthetic AMS oil. More in the links below after the video. But uh, this brake bleeder is made by brake, uh, Bike Master, and the reason I bought it, like I said, was for my... Uh, my antique Ducati and I was able to do both this uh, super fast. Uh, the, the one thing I have noticed on this, uh, it's kind of the same design. I bought it because it was from Bike Master, but it's kind of the same design as the one that's available at Harbor Freight. I think I paid t like $22 for this and uh, it just works real well. It basically uh, uh, just hooks up to you do have to have an air compressor to use this and you, and you hook up the air compressor to it um, I usually run I ran there wasn't any instructions on what the PSI to run on this So I just ran 90 PSI, which is a lot and it basically is going to take your air in and Through through this system is going to pull the brake fluid in and you're going to have water It's like a reverse deal the way it's built and then you just basically turn the air compressor on pull the trigger and there's a lock down here for the tool itself that will keep it running. Um, and, and you always want to keep it running while you're bleeding it, especially if you're not cracking and opening the valves. Uh, if you're doing it by yourself, you got to make sure that you don't get air in that in the, in the bleeder screw down below. So, yeah, it, it, it's a really good tool. Actually, that's why I was doing this video is I was very impressed with it. And the other thing is, is it comes with the attachment to do two disc brakes at the same time. Uh, I, the one... The other one I looked at did not come with this. It was just a single tool, but you can use this. I mean, like I said, I use this on my E350 box truck. Uh, you, you could use this on virtually anything that needs the brakes bled. And I'll tell you, it is such a, it is such a good tool. I mean, I'm just so impressed with it. I, I actually wish I was selling these um, because it works so good. And I've had reverse bleeders. Um, you know, and stuff like that, and done the old jar, the old mason trick, and there's nothing wrong with that. It totally works. But this is just a complete ease. And, and when you watch me do this, um, for the money, if you've never done brakes before, for, you know, 20 to $25 and keep your bike or vehicle from going into the shop, it, it's, it's just unbelievable. As long as you have an air compressor, if you don't have an air compressor, tool isn't going to work for you. But uh, it's actually made very well. I was surprised, and th this one's made by Bike Master, and I highly recommend getting one. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna get all set up here, and we're gonna use this thing today. And I'm gonna show you how easy this thing works. So uh, yeah, I've had a real rough morning. It's it's this has been one of these, these mornings. So uh, yeah, we're gonna get to this. Okay, I've got my. Uh, dirt bike set up here on my stand so it don't fall over and uh, yeah we're gonna get right into this so uh, we'll start by removing this cap the brake cap for the reservoir and uh, we're gonna get into this now if you're bleeding your brakes on your uh, 
ATV or dirt bike, there's usually two screws on here, as you can see, on your reservoir. Um, and you always want to use the fluid that's recommended. It says use only dot three or four. Dot three or four is about the same type of brake fluid. Um, one usually dot four has a higher boiling point than dot three. Dot three and dot four is always compatible. Dot five is not compatible with dot three and dot four. Um, in Europe, they run a dot 5.1, which is compatible with dot three and dot four, but it's really rare to find that here in the States. Um, if you're going to run a dot five, your diaphragms have to be compatible with that fluid or it will eat all the seals out on your motorcycles. Short little story here, uh, that antique Ducati that I have, I actually, on the top of the cap, it said it would run dot three slash dot five. And at one point in time, I put dot five in the uh, reservoir. And what happened was I went out to do a test run out on the frontage road and got to run in above you know above the speed limit and i went to apply the brakes and guess what no brakes i thought oh my god um it basically ate the 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 seals on the brembo um brake calipers and destroyed them they basically had to be rebuilt and it cost more on that ducati to rebuild it than it was for me to find a used set of brake calipers but thank god i was not in traffic or anything of that sort or i could have possibly died um, it's just a mistake that I made, and when I did a little more research, I found out that in Europe, they run the dot .5.1, which is equivalent to dot .3, dot .4 with a higher boiling point, but American run, America produces dot .5 brake fluid, which is totally different brake fluid, so make sure you're using the right brake fluid. Now, on these screws here, a lot of times you get dirt and muck on these dirt bikes, and this is something that a lot of people abuse and don't do. Um, and these screws can be really hard to get out or you'll strip these because of their age. Um, and always get a screwdriver that actually fits the screw. Um, there are different types of screwdrivers with different ends. One, two, and I believe a three or P2. It'll be a P series for Phillips. And you really need to get the right, the right screwdriver that goes down in the hole. Otherwise, you'll strip these and then you'll be in a more of a mess. I've done it before. Um, it's a big hassle and I actually loosened these to make sure I was going to be able to do this. So what, what you do is you just take your, your two screws out and on the inside of this reservoir will be a, 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 a diaphragm and you want to make sure that you take the diaphragm off when you do this <clears throat> and d don't get it contaminated. Try to leave it as clean as possible. Don't set it in a bunch of dirt. Um, so we'll get this off here. I've got a feeling that this this has not been changed in a while and it may it may have been and there, there's a rubber diaphragm and you need the diaphragm in there when you're applying your brakes because when you squeeze the brakes this keeps the fluid in there settled and whatnot but yeah this fluid's pretty dirty as you can see and there's not a whole lot of fluid in there um you can actually see how brown it is uh, a lot of people that don't uh don't change their brake, brake fluid on usually on motorcycles and atvs they recommend doing every two years a lot of cars are the same way but it's something a lot of people don't do if you're getting a lot of brake fade it could be caused by the brake lines themselves or it could be just because your fluid's starting to break down so yeah we'll get we'll get to the front rotor here and i'll show you that Well, one small thing I didn't uh, mention here is um, what you're going to want to do is th this is actually a neat little tool as well. And I use this in another video. This is a, a brake locking tool and this can be used for bleeding your brakes um, because what it does is it will hold your brake lever down on your handle grips. Or you can also use this when you're um, shipping your vehicle or transporting your vehicles because what it'll do is it'll hold the brakes um, on on the front. And it's a really easy tool when you're doing this your your lever you're going to want to put your lever on here and then because you're going to want to apply pressure to the brake and you can move it farther up An another easier way to do this is you can also um use a zip tie and zip tie the brake lever to the grip but this tool is very handy and it's just really easy use it's not very expensive you pick them up on ebay that's another thing i'm looking into want to sell uh, because it's such a good tool but yeah go ahead and get the lever on or zip tie this together so you're applying pressure to the brakes and another reason you don't want this on the kickstand and you want to level onto um, 
where the bike is horizontal is because you don't want air to get in the brake lines and you want the brake reservoir to be level here. So yeah, we're gonna get to the front of the, the rotor here. I've got the air compressor fired up, so this ought to go pretty quick. And when, when you're doing this, you might have to stop one or two times and refill this reservoir. You never want this reservoir to run, run low because what it'll do is it'll get air back into the system and that it and that is bad and then you'll have to re-bleed your brakes again so let's go to the front here okay well i've got everything set up and as you can see with the brake uh the bike master brake bleeder i've got it hanging on the front of the radiator shroud which is fine uh the bottom of the cup on that that bike master um brake bleeder isn't flat so it wants to roll over so if you can hang it just hang it and what you want to do is you want to locate your your bleeder screw for your brakes and usually there's a rubber cover over the front of it and you want to remove your rubber cover and expose the the brake brake bleeder screw and now this bike runs a 11 millimeter I already tested it before I did it and you want to get it on there and you want to make sure that you get it on as as as, as high up as possible on the tool so when you open this brake ble uh, bleeder screw, you want to get it open as far as possible because if, if you put it on like this, you know, farther down and crank it open, it, it won't allow as much air into the system and it will take longer. So go ahead and get your wrench on there as far as possible as you can because you're going to break it loose. And then what you want to do with this tool here is um, you've got this black end here and you'll put this over the brake bleeder screw you know always put your wrench on there first um, sometimes if this nozzle doesn't fit real well onto the brake bleeder screw you can put like a grease on there which will create a seal on there but this should be fine so get your get your wrench on there and go ahead and put your your suction tube on there and I've already fired up the air compressor, so we're gonna turn this on, but like I said, you've got to keep an eye on that brake, uh, brake fluid as well. So you, you'll start to see this, how this exactly works. So you'll go ahead and run your lever all the way down and there's a lock on the bottom of the tool. And you're gonna lock it on there. And you're basically just gonna crack this thing open and not tip over the motorcycle. And I can see the fluid already coming out of it. And you just want to check this because the reservoir isn't very big. And just let the tool do the work.
that's pretty much it. Um, <clears throat> it works. It's it's very quick. Um, the the other thing on this is keep an eye on your how much fluid's going into your reservoir on this tool. And as I'll show you, you can see. Um, I wasn't able to talk while I was making that while I was doing all that. Um, I had I refilled the cup I think two times, and you can really see it in the video, but you'll see the fluid come into this tube. And once it starts going clear, you know that you've got all the contaminated and old brake fluid out. So, you know, make sure that your bleeder screw shut and re remove your nipple. If you get brake fluid on your hands um, or any, any skin, make sure you wipe it off. Um, it, it, it's very, it actually can cause cancer, um, but make sure you get it wiped off. And if you get it on anything else, wipe it off. It will, it will strip paint off a vehicle, but you know, this tool is really just amazing. And as you can see, you know, maybe you can't see there. You know, it pulled all that dirty fluid out and it was super easy to use. Um, I really like this tool. So we'll go back up here and put this cap back on, but uh, really easy to do. And uh, that's why I'm making this video. So we basically have uh, all new fluid in our brake line there, real quick, real simple. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit more in there, just to top it off. New clean fluid. You don't want to put too much in there because when you shove this diaphragm back in there, it's going to push some of it out um, if you have too much fluid. So just kind of leave a towel here because you probably overfilled it just like I did there. And uh, put your diaphragm back in. Yeah, I did overfill it just a little bit. And then your cap and your screws make sure these get tight down in there I, I don't squeeze down one side see the fluid start to come out of it I do have it kind of over full that's all right though when you're riding a dirt bike, anybody that's rode a dirt bike knows you're going to get these things scratched up. You're going to get them dirty. They're going to, everything's going to get dirty. I don't know anybody who, well, I shouldn't say that because people that ride sand dunes and out in the different areas do, would keep their bikes cleaner. Where I've always rode is in the woods and in the mud and in the muck. I actually have a unique ability to read terrain um something that you don't learn and they, they don't teach you that shit at school it basically you have a lifetime of uh being off-road to learn this stuff it's actually really i always wonder about like what would happen if a disaster happened with some of these people in these big cities but yeah that's pretty much it and i might come back with brake parts cleaner i'm not real worried about this bike on this stuff because i said like i said that that brake fluid will strip paint but i'm not super worried about it so yeah there you go yeah look at that look at that wow the brake feels really good okay guys and gals uh so that's pretty much my review on this bike master brake bleeder um if you are going to bleed your brakes on your car or your motorcycle for about 25 bucks, that's a wonderful tool. It takes no time to use. You do have to have an air compressor, but um, it's the Bike Master one liter vacuum brake fluid bleeder. Um, it's a very good tool. I wish I would have bought it years ago. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, you know, check out my uh, other videos that I have on YouTube and uh, hopefully we'll see you next week. Later. I gotta get more coffee. They're just ain't enough time of day.
what time. Who in the hell wears a watch? My God. Whew, finally got some coffee in me. God damn, I'm ready to get this video started. Put on two different shoes this morning. I cannot believe I've done that.